Coming to ritual, how rituals came into existence is like this. Do you brush your teeth every day in the morning? I'm just asking. You do? Hey, don't do this, this means no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, every day in the morning you brush your teeth, some kind of a ritual, isn't it? In fact, people say morning rituals, they're not talking puja, they mean shit, shower and shave. So, anything that you do regularly, not necessarily by choice, but you decide to do it because you've decided it's good for me, becomes a ritual in your life. This ritual of brushing your teeth came to you because your parents, maybe your mother insisted, when you were like this, she insisted, you must brush your teeth. You say, no, I want to eat. You say, no, no brushing, no breakfast. Tch. Are you thankful to your mother she insisted on, the ri on your ritual? Yes or no? Are you not? That time you were irritated, I want to eat, what's the problem, why should I brush every day? But now you are glad that she brought this ritual into your life, it works, isn't it? At least for everybody else around you it works <laughs> So similarly, rituals came for variety of reasons. If you are able to… you said there are multitude of spiritual paths, no, there's only one. If you say spiritual, you have to turn inward. There are no many inwards, there's only one. Hello? There's only one inward. Well, you may go like this, you may go like this, you may go like this, but there's only one inward. So when it comes to a spiritual path, there's only one, you have to turn inward. When it comes to religion, maybe there are choices. When it comes to rituals, yes, there are choices. So when people were not competent, everybody was not competent to simply sit like this and become meditative, then they taught them simple processes. I must